thank you very, thank you so much. It's good to be back here at the Late Show. I'm in my 40s now, still not married, and uh, the more I talk to married people, the more I ain't getting married. <laughs> you, you wouldn't buy any product if people talked about it the same way people talk about being married. Like if you wanted to buy a car and a salesman was like, "Well, this car, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. You know, it's." Uh, <laughs> You really got to work at it. There'll be good days and bad days with this car, but uh, <laughs> don't give up. I was at my sister's house the other day. My little nephew, he's adorable, he's five years old. He says to me, Uncle Dan, how come you're not married? A and then his six-year-old brother chimes right in. He says, he, he just hasn't met the woman he has chemistry with yet. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I said, you heard that from your mom, didn't you? He said, no, mom thinks you're gay. <laughs> Uh, I tell you, they're amazing, these kids. You know, you know what amazes me most about kids? How easy it is to make one. I find that amazing. <laughs> that, to me, is amazing. Because I'm not a very handy person, you know, or anything. <laughs> and yet, I could create a human being, which, to me, is bizarre. <laughs> well, I can't even put together a TV stand from Ikea. <laughs> and I certainly can't put one together by accident, that's for sure. <laughs> like... <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm not going to wake up after a night of drinking and there's a TV stand in my apartment. You know? <laughs> Thinking, how on earth did that thing get here? I think uh, Dave was mentioning uh, Anthony Weiner's cell phone. I just got a smartphone myself, not the 5, I got the 4S. I had a flip phone till two months ago. <laughs> and I was happy with it. I don't need this technology. The only reason I got it is because people were staring at me and pointing. I couldn't take the humiliation. <laughs> You got a flip phone in this day and age. People were pointing and staring. And I could overhear them whispering. They're like, oh my God, that guy's got a flip phone. <laughs> well, maybe he's like one of those Civil War reenactors or something, you know? <laughs> that, that's how they communicated in those days. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, thank you very much. Yeah, I've been doing some traveling lately. I was in, I was in Canada. I believe Paul's from that area of the world. Yes, yeah. That is correct. Yeah, sir. that's yes. where I was. Yeah, in Canada, are. wonderful people, the Canadians. You know, we know so little about them, uh, and, and they get a little sensitive about that. Because I was talking to a Canadian girl while I was up there, and she got a little sensitive, because she mentioned this guy, Stephen Harper, who's apparently an important man up in Canada. <laughs> and I said, who the hell is Stephen Harper? <laughs> she said, you got to be kidding. You don't know who the Prime Minister of Canada is? <laughs> I said, I'll do you one better. I didn't know Canada had a Prime Minister. <laughs> No. Well, yeah, nobody in America knows who the Prime Minister of Canada is. Even with multiple choice, we don't know. <laughs> you, you ask any American, who's the Prime Minister of Canada? A, Stephen Harper. B, Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> C, Celine Dion's husband. That'll probably be the number one answer, would be Renee Angelil. Yeah, I've been traveling. I was in Las Vegas. I stayed at... Every hotel in Las Vegas has a theme. I was at the Paris Hotel. You know what the theme of the Paris Hotel is? You'll never guess. Paris, okay? <laughs> like, they got a miniature Eiffel Tower there, and they got French artwork on the wall when you go there. And when you get to the front desk at the Paris Hotel, you, do you know how they greet you? They say, bonjour. But it's like an American guy, but he says, bonjour. <laughs> I'm thinking somebody should open up a hotel in France called Texas. You know? <laughs> where, where you go there, there's like some... Some French dude in a cowboy hat, he's like, Audi partner. Ah. <laughs> yeah. That's bonjour. That's like one of the few words uh, that from another language that people know in America. We only speak English, and most of us only speak English in America. And a lot of Europeans speak multiple languages, and they think we're stupid, but we're not stupid. We just don't need to learn other languages. <laughs> English is all you need in this world. I got a friend, Jurgen, from Germany. He speaks five languages. He said to me, Dan, how come you Americans don't learn other languages? I said, I don't know, probably the same reason people that can see don't learn Braille. That's probably the reason, I would imagine. And uh, that's probably why, you know. And, and I, by the way, I got news for you. Braille would be more practical. Because you might go blind one day. That could happen, right? You could go blind. But you're not going to go Mexican, chances are. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much.